Welcome Seth Stevenson and Jeffrey Cole to Parties Extra. I'm Helen Ford Wallace and we are at the Oklahoma's Video Studio in downtown Oklahoma City. We are going to have a summer update on the Bald Ice Company and Prairie Wolf Spirit. So welcome you all. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you. Well Seth, start us off. What's going on with Vault Ice? Vault Ice, well, we're just busy as ever trying to keep cool in this uh, summer that's starting to heat up. Uh, some new things that I have to share with you this you time. You always have new projects. We, we like to work on new things. <laughs> so, first of all, tell us about Clear Ice. Clear Ice, clearly better, as you can see here. <laughs> Brought a couple of samples. Uh, I'll just give you, you know all about our ice, but for the viewers at home that haven't seen us before, I'll give you a quick kind of rundown of why clear ice and why our ice in particular is so and important. And where you're located. And where we're located. Okay. We're based out of uh, Norman, Oklahoma. That's where the settled ice in plant with a new is. Place. Yep, mm -hmm. big 25,000 square foot facility. Mm -hmm. And we crank out a lot of ice cubes and ice spheres for bars, restaurants, hotels, and most recently, liquor stores and retail locations. Craft, craft. Craft ice. Mm -hmm. So tell you a little bit about our process. I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible. Yeah. We use Norman water. That's how we start off. And then it goes through a three stage filtration process. Essentially removes all the hard minerals through a water softening process. And then it uh, goes through reverse osmosis that gets pretty much everything else. But then it sits in a, a storage tank where it continuously cycles through UV filters. That kills any microorganisms. Then it's pumped into a specialized tank that keeps it in constant motion, agitating it and keeping the oxygen rising to the top as it slowly freezes from the bottom up. That's how we get crystal clear I mean, ice. It is crystal clear. It's super dense. Mm -hmm. You can freeze ice in a silicone mold at home. You can boil it a hundred times. You can stick it in the best silicone mold. You're never going to get ice like that. It's never going to be as dense. It always has air pockets and it's porous and it's going to dilute much quicker than our ice. Our ice typically has, uh, well, regular ice like you would use at home or most bars, restaurants, hotels use has about a three to one melt ratio compared Your to ice our is ice. Good. And when ours melts, there's no weird freezer funk flavor. It, mm -hmm. It's odorless, tasteless, absolutely the most pure experience you can get when drinking a, a cocktail or a spirit that is not neat. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. So, okay, well, so what is new? So what's new is uh, we are distributing now in six different states. We distribute through Broadline Food Distribution like U.S. Foods, uh, Cisco, Benny Keith, Gordon Food Service, and they distribute our product to the hotels, the bars, and the restaurants. Here locally, we've started uh, letting the public buy our product. You've been able to buy it at Uptown, Uptown. Grocery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. both locations, and um, now we're in 31 other retail locations really? across Oklahoma. So we've got one in Stillwater, we've got several in Tulsa and Broken Arrow, and a lot from Edmond to Norman. So guests can go in, buy a sleeve of our ice, kind of gives you instructions there on how to uh, temper the product, serve it, and you're going to get two or three pours over a cube. Uh, we don't currently sell the spheres retail, only the oh. cubes. And the spheres are cute. <laughs> I like them. They are cute. I'm going to pull this out of my freezer here. They essentially come vacuum sealed at 100%. That keeps it from absorbing any aromas mm -hmm. in the freezer, getting freezer burned. And a guest can take this package home. It takes you about 30 minutes. You can get home. And because it's got this food safe foam between each cube, if you get a they little bit of melt, together. right, mm -hmm. you're exactly right. You can get them home and just pop them right out, stick them in your drink. Just don't drink the foam. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so if so you want the best experience at home. How many are in a pack? So there are six uh, cubes in a pack, mm -hmm. and they typically retail anywhere from six to eight dollars. Uh, and, and if sometimes in a bar on the menu it says we are serving vault ice. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, uh, you want to let your customers know that's mm -hmm. a value-added proposition for the guest when mm -hmm. they know that I'm not going to get a watered-down cocktail or it's not going to dilute with freezer funk ice. That's something I would pay for. 
Of course, I'm an ice snob. <laughs> Jeffrey's an ice snob. I am too. Well, I'm too now. Yeah, you're an ice snob. Uh, since you all. <laughs> uh, direct order shipping? I mean, uh, we're working on it. Uh, mm -hmm. We're working on a lot of things since you asked what's new for the website. Um, direct order shipping is part of that, where mm -hmm. we would ship to locations in Oklahoma that can't get the ice. Mm -hmm. uh, Texas is another opportunity that we'll be shipping in. Um, we also are working on adding back into the mix ice sculptures on a limited basis. Really? Yeah. So that's something that we'll probably announce, well, we just announced, <laughs> only to Helen Ford Wallace <laughs> and her wonderful viewers. Uh, that'll probably go online in about two weeks mm -hmm. on our website. You'll mm -hmm. be able to order some standard sculptures and custom. We've and kind of been testing it back out. So sculptures like an ice bar? Ice bar, Christmas ice bowls, tree. Christmas trees, things of that nature. We get a lot of calls for seafood platters um, for chefs and mm -hmm. hotels and country clubs, uh, monograms, letters, corporate logos. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's all stuff that is pretty standard. Mm -hmm. um, when when I say custom, when someone says I would like a an elephant that we'd like to light up pink and we want it, you know, in the wedding, that's that's something that's pretty cool custom. right there yeah yeah that's uh -huh. seafood buffet there uh-huh so and vases with vases for flowers, for flowers mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. you can also put uh your beverages in in some of the vases it's pretty mm -hmm. cool uh champagne things like that to keep it cold water bottles <laughs> in the ice bowls so that is that's you all are branching out we again. are branching out we we there there's quite the demand for it mm -hmm. so um I do have one more fun product to share. Okay. I don't know if we want to hold off and do this after Jeffrey has talked about some of his Prairie Wolf spirits. Um, probably. Okay, we'll hold off. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll keep I, the viewers I, engaged. Uh, well, it, we will engage them by telling them they're made out of ice. They're what? made out of ice. Uh -huh. That's absolutely right. Okay, so um, Jeff, Jeffrey. Talk about Prairie Wolf, and it's located in Guthrie. That's correct, yeah. So we are Oklahoma's first distillery uh, at a whopping six years old. <laughs> we, um, we produce four products currently. Uh, we have three spirits and one cordial. So we do a corn-based vodka, so it's naturally gluten-free. We do a corn-based gin, also gluten-free. We do a, this is, what, this is our pet project here, the Obahoshi Rum. So the Obahoshi Rum, uh, to kind of get into it without getting too far into it yet, it's got a little bit of sorghum that's co-fermented with uh, sugar cane molasses. So and the a, sorghum's from where? The sorghum would be from Wewoka. Wewoka, I mean, do we love it? That's, <laughs> that's just right. great. That's correct. And mm -hmm. then we have uh, the Prairie Wolf Dark, so this is our coffee liqueur. Mm -hmm. the, and Darling Bottles, the, and the logo Prairie Wolf, where'd that come from? Um, so the logo, the logo from for the Prairie Wolf itself mm -hmm. that came out of a um, that came out of a uh, an art house in the in the Northeast. The logo for the Obahoshi came out of uh, Cooper House Creative, which is in the Paseo. Mm -hmm. um, and this you can see that these three packages are very similar. It's just sort of like different colors. And you're just whipping that up. That's up right. In, yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So and where can we get this? Uh, we can get this. Uh, about 350 locations throughout Oklahoma, from Guymon up in the northwest up to Miami in the northeast, and then the Broken Bow down to the south southeast, and then as far west as Lawton. I haven't got down to Alt Altus yet, but um, yeah, we're we're dang there everywhere. And if you can't find it, ask for it, and they'll get it in for them. Well, talk a little bit more about gluten free, because I think that's interesting. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So um, corn being a, a gluten free kind of sort of like a grain mm -hmm. type plant. If you have celiac or if you're gluten sensitive, this right here is it's not going to bother you at all. We have a lot of ladies that say that they get bloated when they drink spirits, mm -hmm. vodka sodas. Mm -hmm. They say that this right here keeps them from feeling any kind of like, you know, pain or whatever uh, that you might like, uh, That's get from awesome. that. Uh -huh. we're, we are a celiac friendly uh, facility, so there's mm -hmm. never any kind of grain or anything that is allowed to pass through our door. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, being uh, a rum, this never has any kind of grain in it at all. Sorghum molasses comes from a, comes from the stock of the uh, of the plant, so no grain there, right? Mm -hmm. And then the uh, sugar cane molasses, of course, there's no uh, gluten there either. How do you know all that? I mean, that is hard to know. <laughs> oh my gosh, 
That is amazing. And uh, yeah, I should mention uh, the, the cough of the cure is also gluten free. Is right. it, oh, it really? is. It is. It's corn based. Uh, so for beer. parties, you're set. Absolutely. Yeah. All our parties, all viewers' parties, you can get this good stuff. That's, That's right. Right. Do you have special recipes for your stuff? Uh, yeah, we actually we do. Um, so with the obahoshi. I really like to talk more a little bit more about the Obahoshi okay. real quick. So Go for it. it's a it's a gold style rum. The color comes from raw sorghum that we added in after the distillation mm -hmm. process. Uh, the fermentation process takes place at our facility. It's that sorghum and, and, and sugar cane molasses, they're both they're co-fermented. Um, and after distillation we color it. The name Obahoshi comes from uh, the Seminole language for the wolf. Mm -hmm. And you can see on the bottle it says inland style rum. That's because, of course, we're using a, uh, something that's not grown in the, uh, on the coast or on an island. Um, it's true Oklahoma product. We're very proud of it. It's, um, we're, the, we're the only pr product in our category, and we just won the gold medal for rum at the New York Spirits Competition. Well, I'm proud of it, too. Yeah, that is awesome. awesome. So to talk about recipes, I could start with this. We use, we use this a lot like a whiskey. We drink it in old fashions, which are very popular, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll also use it in like a daiquiri. So traditional, just uh, lime, sugar, and some of that obahoshi rum, that's perfect. Um, as far as like the vodka, uh, it's <laughs> the number one uh, drink for our vodka would be a club special for sure. That's basically Oklahoma's sun cocktail, you know. Mm -hmm. um, with the gin, I mean, it's hard to beat a gin and tonic with our gin. It's a very, it's a sort of a lighter style gin. It's not, the juniper doesn't hit you up to um, in the front like a lot of like a traditional London dry. Um, ours is, it's it's just a little bit I think more approachable for somebody who's new to gin. For That's sure. awesome. So, talk a little bit about Oklahoma berries. Oklahoma berries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do so you use that. Okay. So Oklahoma berries. You and I talked about it a little bit mm -hmm. before. <laughs> So going forward, what we're trying to do is work with local farmers in these towns that have these festivals for fruit from mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. For example, in the spring, you'd have strawberries from Stillwell. And, and about this time of year, you get porter peaches, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah about ready for some porter mm -hmm. peaches. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we do the uh, Rush Springs Watermelon Festival, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And you can get cantaloupe, I think, down there as well. And so those are the ones that we're focused on right now, those four fruit that I just mentioned. Um, and then the future, next year, we would look at doing like a quarterly, just a single release, you know, like a strawberry liqueur, and then we'd do... How cool is that? Yeah, and it, that would be just purely Oklahoma stuff. That's great. Yeah. Well, is it really important to have good ice for all your things? You have to have great ice. <laughs> no, no, <let's, laughs> put me on the spot with Seth. Uh, once, the thing a lot of people don't understand about making a cocktail is, I'm a bartender by trade. I did it for a decade, right? So. Mm -hmm. Once you go into making a cocktail, at the end process, you have the diluted total amount. So if you put an ounce and a half of vodka into something, and then you put it over ice, you end up with about a third more of that diluted ice. Now your water source, if it's coming out of your tap and you don't have any sort of a filtration device or anything like that, that water, that's gonna be the main flavor of your cocktail at that point. Mm -hmm. His ice, doesn't have flavor. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. So you get to really try the, the taste of those corn notes and those gin notes and the sorghum flavor that you get out of this and, and of course the coffee liqueur as well, which we're really proud of. Do you mind pouring a couple of shots in our glass? <coughs> if we can drink them. Well, <laughs> I, I want to demonstrate what you actually just uh, no. said for me and uh, this wasn't pre-planned on his part. I was actually going to bring it up, but he said it for me because he is a bartender uh -huh. and Jeffrey has used our product at uh, several of the bars he's worked at. Mm -hmm. We actually just teamed up with the uh, the berries that he was talking about uh -huh. and Jeffrey made cordials. We did a bar takeover at the barkeep in Midtown, mm -hmm. which if you haven't heard of it, Helen, that's your go-to place to get any of your bar supplies. Julia at barkeep has uh, she's got our eyes, of Does course. she have this fancy, this fancy she has, eyes in there? Oh yeah, she's got How everything you that want? you need. Uh, just uh, make sure you do two even pours. Okay. Two to four ounces. I didn't bring my jiggers from home. That's just I, great. I had a jigger. Well, I was just gonna make a point. <laughs> what Jeffrey said, typically on regular ice, if you're drinking your, your cocktail or your spirit on regular ice, and like I said, over 10 minutes, you're gonna get three ounces of dilution. With fault ice, you're gonna get one ounce. So it's quite a difference in 
what you're drinking and the fact that this is not adding any flavor, it's just the water, makes all the difference in the world. So you certainly aren't going to go home and put your rum or your vodka under the tap water. No, no. You don't want to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. So, and that's kind of what you're doing with bar ice or mm -hmm. regular ice. Mm -hmm. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good looking. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want to drink it, would you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have some of this ice. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. So does the ice go in? Are we going to have a toast? Not with that. I think we should have a toast with something else. Oh, I want to mention too that we are still oh. selling the uh, custom stamps. Okay, so you can go tell, online. talk about that a bit. And there is a uh, there is a little flyer inside your retail sleeve. So if you go out and run out and buy one of these sleeves today at your local liquor store or uptown location, uh, it'll have the information on how to buy a custom stamp. And the stamps, you stamp right on the ice. You stamp right on the ice. Mm -hmm. And um, it's whether like a it's logo. your monogram, it whether a logo. it's a mm -hmm. logo, this happens to be the Oklahoma City Thunder. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to press it in there. And the fun thing about these is they work without any heat. It's mm -hmm. just warmer than the ice itself. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll take that off there and I'll try to get a good view for the camera. Turn That's it around. That's great. That is great. And there's our Oklahoma City Thunder. I don't know if you can zoom in on that or not, but. That's awesome. Put something in the background. Yeah. There you, you go. See it. <laughs> uh, so, and you, definitely fun for parties. I seem to recall you all have lighted up ice cubes sometimes too. Uh, yeah, we've actually, you know, when you asked uh, before the interview about doing tours, We've tried to eliminate a lot of things that would add contaminants to the process mm -hmm. because this is literally the purest ice mm -hmm. you can buy on the planet. Mm -hmm. And so we don't do tours for that reason. We don't, we're trying to eliminate as many contaminants into the facility well, as possible. That's a good explanation. So mm -hmm. uh, we don't add, a lot of people ask us about inclusions like flavors and flowers and yeah, we can do all that, but it's adding another element and then also uh, doesn't keep our production lines streamlined. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, Christmas trees inside these ice mm -hmm. cubes. Yep, we've put all kinds of stuff in the ice cubes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's a lot awesome. of fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show our viewers our new product that we're coming out with. And we'll get a few of these out. But just to show, we are doing some ice glassware. <laughs> um, How cool That you'll is buy that? for a party, buy uh -huh. the case. And I think that the uh, whiskey glasses come 32 to a case, mm -hmm. and the little one-ounce shot glasses come 72 to a case. Oh my. I don't have the prices yet. That's something that your viewers are getting a total sneak peek at. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a fun little product that you can do at a party. You can do Jaeger bombs. You can do some... Uh, tequila shots you can do all kinds of drop-ins and uh, not worry about having to wash I mean, your dishes afterwards it's <laughs> fine it's very fine it's, it's not, very fine it's would not you, that cold would you like to pour us a rum shot why well, certainly is that one open <laughs> or you know you know what's even i like to drink cold coffee this coffee liqueur have you had the coffee liqueur? no so oh, this amazing. coffee liqueur just four ingredients it's just coffee sugar uh, the base spirit and vanilla and if you put it in your refrigerator and leave it overnight or in your freezer and drink it cold, just straight, almost like we're about mm -hmm. to do right here, mm -hmm. it is just wonderful. It just tastes like coffee. Oh my gosh. Well, oh, there's one. I was going to say, <laughs> don't leave me out. And uh, at 20% alcohol, it, you know, it's, it's not going to get you in trouble too fast, but it is dangerous. Mm -hmm. and it's, <laughs> it's not the coffee you want to give your guests before they go home from the party. It smells so good. It is. Oh it's my gosh. so good. It's uh -huh. so It smells delicious. delightful. Well, so what are we drinking cheers. to, Helen? Well, we, let's drink to summertime, ice. And parties. And parties. And prairie wolf. And prairie wolf. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. Well, Seth and Jeffrey. We loved hearing about the special ice and special drinks. You are both so creative and new ideas are forthcoming all the time. Viewers, pick up your vault ice and your prairie wolf liquor, liquor and enjoy the summer. <laughs>